हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल नॉलेज विद नंदिनी इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद आर लास्ट वीडियो ऑन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ पैकिंग एंड डिजायरेबल पैकिंग मटीरियल फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ sterilization we will today start talking about the packaging systems first we will take the sterilization wrapper its specifications methods of its packing in detail as we said before packing material along with the label label and closure mechanism of a set is called the sterile barrier system Let us see first the most popular packing material the flat wrapper so the flat wrapper can either be disposable made of non woven fabric which again is made of natural or man made fibers these are pressure bonded together to form sheets or reusable woven textiles made of natural or synthetic material reusable materials must be free of detergents bleach or any other chemical that could react with the sterilant which i told you before is the sterilizing agent or adversely affect the contents of the pack woven reusable wrappers like linen need to be washed and rehydrated after every use supposing they are sterilized but they are not used for any reason and they have to be re-sterilized still they have to be laundered between the two sterilizations to prevent superheating superheating hampers sterilization all reusable textiles need to be delinted before using by inspecting them over a lighted table also defects like tears and stains need to be checked for and such pieces removed for repairs tears should not be sewn that is stitched because they could cause holes in the material instead defects should be repaired on both sides with a vulcanized patch applied using heat or simpler way larger sheets can be converted to smaller ones discarding the torn portion all packing material should be stored at room temperature remember we said uh, washed and hydrated so they are stored at a relative humidity of 30 to 60% which causes proper hydration for at least 2 hours about the specifications the linen wraps require a 140 thread count and they are made of 100% muslin cloth what is the advantages of linen they are soft they are reusable they are inexpensive they are absorbent and they are very easy to drape which we call drapeable they are still widely used but the great disadvantage is that since the cloth is woven it does not provide complete protection against microbial penetration that is it is a poor bacterial barrier we double wrap the sets sets to overcome this in the 1960s non woven material were introduced and they provided a better effective tortuous path which pro- provided against microbial contamination in a better way in the beginning the material used for these wraps was also derived from cellulose so it did not have adequate strength this was plain paper and craft paper plain paper craft paper and crepe paper the introduction of polypropylene allowed the development of wraps that possessed strength barrier and repellent properties a popular product which is used currently consists of three thermally bonded layers i'm sure you know 
spun bond, melt blown, spun bond or what we call SMS. This fabric, the spun bond portion provides the strength and the melt blown portion provides the barrier. Hence it is strong, that is durable as well as it has good bacterial barrier properties. Having multiple layers provides protection from microbial contamination. These disposable or single use packing material should be used only for one sterilization cycle. I insist on this. Disposable packing material should be discarded after opening. If disposable packing material works out too costly, it is better to use reusable material rather than using disposable one more than once. One simple reason is you cannot wash it between uses. Are we allowed to sterilize anything in the CSC that has not been washed? No. Okay. Packages can be wrapped by the envelope fold method or the square fold method. Both can be used for disposable and reusable wrappers. Though in the modern world, the single use wrappers are preferred, but there is the problem increasingly of disposal. It's a tough choice. All I can say is, in case you are using linen, use pure cotton cloth, what we call muslin. Check for thread count, color fastness, and please, please, please discard ones which have lots of holes or if the holes are large and if they are unrepairable. Always use double packing in case of linen and to take care of the inconsistency unless the instruments are packed in covered trays. We will speak about trays along with rigid containers. In each case, the set can be packed double wrapped either sequentially or simultaneously. When you are doing sequential wrapping, the items are wrapped twice independently, like a pack within a pack. But when an item is, right, is um, wrapped simultaneously, the package is wrapped once, but with two sheets of, of cloth which are stitched together at the side. Or they can be welded together in case of synthetic material. The simultaneous method is faster because you have to wrap the package only once. But the sequential method is safer and is preferred from the sterility maintenance point of view. Though the barrier qualities of the disposable wraps have gone very very good, still we use multiple layers, uh, generally double layers, to handle the rigors of you know storage, transportation throughout the facility. After wrapping, this uh, pack needs to be secured and labeled. In many cases, the pack is secured with the label itself, if the label is an adhesive tape or paper sticker, or it could be a printed label from a gun. This label can be used to display the de details and a tape can be used to fasten the pack and secure the pack or as a closure what we call. Details about labels and closures has already been explained by me in my previous video the principles of packing. Here I want to give links to my new Facebook page CSSD Consulting with lots of news and tips on CSSD. And I'm also giving the links to my Instagram handle which has the same name. Since I can't meet all of you personally, I have started these, you know, going on the social media. Also, you can visit my blog site where you will get little longer articles which will be useful to you, maybe on CSSD or other topics. And those who are on LinkedIn can find me there. 
I have a request that you must remember to like, follow, subscribe, ring the bell and also share with your friends to build a huge CSSD community with a strong presence in the medical world. This will help you in the future to have a stronger presence for the CSSD. Ciao for now. This is your friendly neighborhood CSSD mom signing off. Thank you.